This video is for Lisa, the new proud owner of the Bambulance. Sorry, Lisa, I couldn't get the decals off in time. I couldn't get a hold of a heat gun to bring it over, but um, I'll give you some suggestions on taking those off pretty easily. Anyways, you had some questions and asked me to put up a video. So, pretty simple stuff. This is just like any other Ford van. Uh, the same chassis that you're used to. Same driving controls. Everything's the same. The only difference is this panel down here. This panel down here controls all the strobe lights, the siren, the uh, rear heater, um, all that good stuff. Um, and the power to the back battery. From the factory, this doesn't work unless the engine's running. We bypass that so that I can flick this switch right here, the very left switch, ambulance connect. And that uh, turns on the power in the back so I can run the strobe lights, the flashers, the siren, and of course the lighting in the back and the stereo. There is some roof lights in there that will work regardless of whether this is on or not. But this button turns on the main power in the back. And um, just make sure this is off if you want to be safe because you don't want to have this uh, on while you're driving and accidentally hit the strobe or the flasher or the siren you know, <laughs> or any of that while you're driving, all right? Um, it's something you, you'd only really turn on when you're parked, okay, when you need power in the back. So you really don't have to worry much about it. Uh, the lights are pretty simple, up and down, fast strobe, slow strobe, the flashers go one way, the light bar up on the roof, that works right there. The left scene and rear scene, left scene, right scene, rear scene in the middle, those are just the... Um, the uh, bright lights outside, the halogens, just to turn them on if they needed some light outside. The outside lights are halogens and strobes, so you will, you know, you don't want to run them for too long without your engine running or you'll kill your battery. The interior lights are all LED though, so you don't have to worry about that. The siren horn is, it doesn't do anything, you don't have to worry about that. The siren is right here. And yes, they all work. <laughs> um, like if I have, I have the switch on now, the engine isn't running. But I can turn on the siren, just, uh, all I have to do, oh yeah, all you have to do is, see this toggle right here? That means the siren is on. If I have it on horn, this is the horn when you get a cyclist in your way, or a smart car, or a little Prius, or something like that. You just do that. And, um, of course, if you're on your way to a medical emergency, you put on those ones. Okay. <laughs> Everybody around here is going to start staring at me now. Uh, but keep that off. As a it's like a double safety thing. If you have this on, ha make sure that is at least off. And then you won't have any problems. Okay, so everything else is the same here. Um, uh, in the back, in the back, I showed you the, the uh, buttons uh, as far as all the lighting goes back there. It's pretty self-explanatory. I put all the LED lights on individual light switches. So they're all independently controlled. And um, you just flick the switches and see what turns on. That's how you learn what is what. The stereo is on the front battery, but the wiring I have in the back for the subwoofer, there is no subwoofer in here because I only use my own subwoofer from the motorhome and I brought it in here and connected it up whenever I needed it. But uh, the wiring is there. So if you're gonna put a subwoofer onto the amp in the back, it will not turn on unless the ambulance connect is on because it's connected to the rear battery. Okay, so you flick that switch if you have a subwoofer in here, and then boom, you're going to have some, uh, you're, you're going to be vibrating your windows uh, with the subwoofer in the back. Okay, but if that's off, you're just going to have the regular speakers. The front door speakers were disconnected, and the wires were run up to the, um, the speakers outside on the roof, on the left and right side. You can always disconnect those and put speakers back in the door, or, or you can just add more speakers. The two speakers in the back that are built under the uh, bed are the only ones you're going to hear inside. So, um, the stereo, when you have the stereo on, I'll show you, when I turn the key, I have to turn the key to turn it on, or I just put it on accessory. So, just click that, see the fade, it's the fade, rear, the rear is inside, and if I go like that, now it's equal, inside and outside speakers. And if I go front, now only the outside speakers are on. So this is how I control it. 
So I'll keep it on this, otherwise you're driving around with music outside. You might get in trouble depending on where you're driving and how loud it is. So just leave it on that unless you're going to use the outside speakers. Simple as that. Okay, so starting it's just like anything else. Um, when the brake is when the brake is uh, on the emergency brake, you can make sure the ambulance is connected on. You can click the anti-theft button, and now I can take I can turn off the ignition, take the key out, but the engine keeps running. Okay. Put the key back in. I went over that alarm uh, system in the last video there. Now, now let's open the hood. Okay, um, the diesel fill up is on the driver's side. Right there. Leaves everywhere. Right there. Pretty self-explanatory, check your, you can add your oil here, and you check your oil there, and transmission fluid. This is a brand new 850 cold cranking amp battery. There is a second battery that's installed under the door which needs to be replaced. I have it disconnected right now, okay? Because it was draining down the new battery, so replace the battery under the door, and then you've got two batteries, if, especially if you're gonna be in a really cold area. All right, since I have the anti-theft on, I'll take the uh, key out. The guts. This is your 600 watt sine wave inverter, directly connected to the new deep cycle battery down here. There is room for a second battery should you should you wish to install. This is just sitting here to hold the two batteries up. Um, I put that in, got rid of the old batteries, they were garbage. You can put another one in if you like. The inverter, the button is right there at the back, turns it on and then there's a power outlet inside. And the smart charger here. The smart charger is automatic, automatically kicks in when you plug in the vehicle, which is the bottom plug. The top plug is just, all that does is uh, uh, make an outlet live inside. Just an, an out, if you're plugging, you have two plugs, one will do the charger, one will do the 110 outlets. They're separate, okay? All the rest of this you've already seen, you already went over, you know the diagrams, the schematics are all there if you wanna add anything in. Okay, oops, I have the inverter on so the light on the ceiling there is going because I have that wired into the roof here. It's just on this, just on a button switch. So, um, let's turn on some lights. Those are the red lights, put them up. White lights, photo shoot lights. All right, um, the bottom one here, inverter power, the top one, station shore power. Like I said, the two separate plugs there, okay? Um, one of them is uh, that one there. It will only work, of course, if the inverter outside is turned on, which you can just leave on. And uh, you can plug anything you want in. I have a cord coming in through there. It's actually wired right through the roof when I took the paneling off in here. And that's connected to that light right there. So you just flick this button on this uh, Christmas Christmas light cord. And I uh, attached everything to the original buttons here. So left caught, right caught, that just means the ceiling lights. So again, down is the LED red, up is LED white, and the right caught one also controls the spotlight there. So you're, you know, it's very efficient and very bright in here with that. By the way, this is my new 80cc uh, motorized bicycle. So you guys will see that in another video soon. Keep the thermostat off because if you have it set, up high, it will kick in and turn on the heater, which is down here on the floor. The heater will, will kick on and kill your battery, or not kill your battery, but it'll, it'll kick on when you're plugged in, by the way. If you have it, if you have it on, um, the AC fan right there, up and down, 
that's just low and high for the fan that's for the AC up on the roof which I explained to you doesn't it doesn't work you need to recharge it but it still is a nice powerful fan if you just want to blow some air around in here um, it will not work unless you have that on it, that thing is connected to both the AC and the heater okay exhaust fan you need to get any smoke out of here because everyone's smoking pot inside intake fan it's just another fan right there reading light that's just this little light here even that's an LED bulb I put LEDs in everything the spare which was wasn't being used I connected the uh, the LED strip lights along the roof there to that okay and the buttons down here and I don't know if you can see on the camera but these three buttons I put in control the uh, LED lights the black lights are the first one so it turns on the black lights along the wall and the ceiling it's all on one switch so you can make the place glow in the dark you just turn off the other lights and everything glows okay um, that one and the second button is for the red lights in the ca in the uh, cabinets that are underneath the cabinets gives it a nice ambience the third one it hasn't been used yet so you can put something else there if you like and there's a cigarette lighter plug there you could always plug something in there without wiring it directly if you prefer uh, the audio level does nothing that was for their two-way radios I guess when they were talking to each other that's what the speaker is back here it does nothing um, that's about it the oxygen hookups are there but there's no oxygen tank <laughs> hopefully you don't need that under the bed is all stored just lifts up the seat belts are all here still um, yeah I think that's about it everything you need to know so it's not much different than the Ford van you had before um, it's just just with that extra ambulance connect panel on the dashboard and that's about it just make sure that's turned off when you're driving if you don't want to accidentally hit any buttons and be driving down the road with your strobe lights on you don't even know okay <laughs> all right hope you enjoy it uh, I look forward to seeing you uh, tomorrow and uh, you pick up your new ambulance here I'm gonna cry a little bit because I love this thing but ah new chapter in my life new chapter in yours it's all good all right cheers see you soon